it's my Lulu's birthday today. Um, and we're having a little, little get together for her. Um, not only is it birthday, but she also got engaged. So, um, so it's like a double celebration, which is nice. And obviously we can't have a great big party because of what's going on. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're up to today. So hello everyone, welcome back. And then you can look, watch, look, watch, watch our shenanigans later on. Now, you know, when you're watching me, you're going to see crazy stuff. <laughs> that's just me. Have me look at my hair. It's just, it's just absolutely crazy. It's like a frizzball. Look at it. So the plan today is um, to go and do um, the little soiree, if you like. And then when I come back, I'm, I'm going to um, dye my hair <laughs> uh, and get it sorted out because it is an absolute, look at it. Um, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, I don't know if anybody who watch any, anybody of you, what kind of sentence is that? Any of you watch Friends when Monica, they've gone to the Caribbean for, what's his face? Uh, Ross, he's a um, paleontologist, isn't he? And he goes there, he goes there to do a conference or something and the, the humidity makes Monica's hair like a frizz ball. Well, it's kind of like, like this, isn't it? Although hers looks a lot nicer than mine does. <laughs> so we've got crazy hair today, but anyway, I'm going to do that, but just quickly, because I'm getting ready and getting changed, this is that little nighty what's that pre-mark. Look how cute it is. If I step back, you can see, probably comes just above my knee, maybe a couple of inches above my knee. You can see the back there, because I've got the mirror behind me, um, and it fits absolutely perfect. So I took the other one back because that was a size, I guess that was a medium, um, which I think was a 12 to 14. And this one's a small, which is a 10 to 12. And this fits much, as you can see, it's tight around here. You've still got the tiny little strap, um, pulley things, you know, to, to loosen it or tighten it. And it's so comfortable, such a nice little item. Um, so if you're going in there and this is kind of you, go and get them because I tell you, they will not be there for long. Especially if you are buying some Christmassy bits to put away. These are such lovely little outfits. And it's a shame that they didn't have the um, the little, what they called? You know, like a little dressing gown type thing, but they're not heavy, they're this, this material, so nice and light as well. It's a shame they didn't have them to match. I mean, they didn't in our ones, but maybe they have across the rest of the country, I don't know. But anyway, so that's what's happening today. I did want to try and do a DIY, so what, I, don't keep saying DIY on it, for Christ's sake. Try and, I'm going to try and do um, an arrangement as well because, you know, I'm not going to video the whole lot of our little soiree this afternoon. I'm only going to do little snippets. So it gives us plenty of time. Now, I've got an arrangement I need to do and I must do it. So we'll do that today. And then on Wednesday, I've had a lot of requests to do, you know, all the clothes I've been buying is to do a trial that they wanted to see me trying them on. And the reason, I, one of the reasons I didn't do it is because I didn't want to bore everybody. But anyway... If you want to see it, that's fine. I can do that on Wednesday and then you, you can see, you know, what they look like on me. Um, you know, it might not be everybody's cup of tea. You might not like the clothes. Uh, they might not, you might not like what they look on me. Anyway, let's not worry about none of that because it's, it's not happening yet for another few days anyway. So I'm going to go and have a shower and get ready. And then um, once I get up, up, up the road to the soiree and um, I'll take a couple of little snapshots and a little bit of video so you can see because I'm going to do some balloons as well so I'm going to do the balloon garland put that up there a couple of bottles of bubbly she doesn't know that we're going to be there for her um, she knows she's going to the barbecue but she only thinks it's like me and Sean and Nan and Grandad but there's a couple of her little friends going to be there as well there's only a few of us so it'd be, be quite nice so anyway I'll see you up there <laughs> This is Mrs. B. This yeah. is Mrs. B. Say this hello, is, Mrs. B. And this is the, the mad girl. witch. Witchy! <laughs> <laughs> Witchy! Oh, yeah. no, no, in, in a minute. Oh, yeah. This is Witchy oh, no. Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair. Yeah, well, they don't leave it to my hair. It just oh, is just like it. it's so <laughs> so shangly and don't say that. That is not oh. you. Trust me. Is it fizzy? Like, yes, okay. it's fizzy. She said my okay. hair's fizzy. Okay. See, so, look at that witchy poo. I belong in a field. 
food. Especially when you're a cat weasel. Oh, no, I don't want to eat. So, what have you done to it to make it different? Well, I haven't done anything to it. I've just washed it and left it. And it just goes naturally curly like No, it's not curly, it's stringy. It's frizzy. It's out of frizzy and out of order. It's frizzy and out of order. No, you've got to admit, it's out of order, isn't it? This is not not normal, is it? Monica and Now you look like a real old grandma. Oh my god. Now listen to me, you're the yeah. great grandma, oh, not me. I'm just oh, the grandma. Listen, I'm I just a nanny. Yeah, I'm a great grandma, but well, you need something done with this hair because it, this is down. not you. Is that, that's, 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 that, 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 yeah? Well, right, we can, and then she's got to put this over it's it's like that, yeah? Room. And she's got to go, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See what I have to It's like a rat's tail. I didn't see she said she does think it's Steph, that's disposable work. Okay then. So I've got to do something with my hair. Right. You've got to do right, something with it. Right, there's your drink. Them. Right, do you need take, a top up? Take me out of there because I've been insulted. <laughs> <laughs> do you need your top up? No, I'm alright. No. So fun and games at a little soiree. Um, excuse the hair. <laughs> what I thought I'd do today, you know I said I'm going to do the, the arrangement, so... Um, we're now Monday, and it's a lovely morning. So I thought I'll, um, you know, do, colour my hair, do my video, and do an arrangement at the same time. So, you know, multitasking and all that. So as you can see, I look lovely. <laughs> look, do, 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 do. But anyhow, you know, who's gonna take the notice of me? So, oh my God, I've got to do this as well. So take the notice what I've got on. So obviously I've got um, little shorts, which are pajama shorts, right? And this top, I, I was trying to do um, a tie-dye, right? It's gone completely wrong. So what I did was I got a black vest t-shirt out of um, Primark. Everyone keeps telling me it's Primark. So if I say Primark, just take no notice, you know what I mean. So just a plain vest, I thought, what are they, two quid, something like that? And um, anyway, I was watching someone doing like a bleaching effect to make it like the, the white bit. So I got a spray gum, not a spray gum, What's them things called? When you spray your bathrooms, a bottle, one of them spray bottle things. So I got one of them, which was empty, and I kept, and I obviously kept it. Put a bit of bleach on it, laid the t-shirt on the floor out uh, here, and sprayed it all over. So first of all, you can see all the little spray marks all over, which are like the yellowy colour. Bloody hell, I need to fill over the bloody pot then. Hang on, I've got to move the pot. Oh, that's it. And, um... Yeah, so as you can see, so then I thought, well, that ain't worked out very good, is it? So, okay then, so I get the bottle of bleach, lay that down, and go squirt it all over it and left it, all right? So on the back, it didn't come out too bad, which is quite nice, all right? On the front, after I'd left it for like, I don't know, two hours, three hours, something like that, went back, rinsed it all out, and as I held it up, and kind of stretched it a little bit, it started stretching holes. <laughs> because obviously it's rotted the bloody material. Look at it, look. And on the back, I think I've got some on the back of me, I look. Can you see? Honestly, I'm absolutely crazy. I've got an arrangement to do for a lady. Um, and she wants like a box type arrangement, which I have done before. But this one's going to be slightly bigger. Now I went into the pound shop to get my frames out of there, and then they don't do in there. They do the small ones, you know, like your four by sixes. Then it jumps up to an eight by ten, which is too big, and the four by six is too small. So I want it kind of one in between. So I went in Matalan, and they they've got a sale on, obviously, um, and they had these lovely heavy ones. I'll show you. They was originally three quid, and I don't mind paying three quid because they're heavy but they were reduced down to, a, is that a pound? Yeah, quid. So it's exactly the same what you'd pay in the pound shop. So brilliant, so I've got four of them and they're, they're heavier, they're a, they're a better quality than the pound shop. Um, and that, so that was in Matland, so I've got four of them. So the idea is, I'm gonna make a box out of them, all right? But I'm gonna spray them because she wants greys and silvers and whites and them kind of colors. So I'm gonna obviously get all these out. I'm gonna glue them first and then I'm gonna spray it all. So I'm gonna do all that process, um, and then I'm gonna show you after. Um, then I'm gonna get my phone block, but obviously I need a base as well, so I'm gonna to have to use one of the boards out of here as my base. 
front block in the middle um, and then I've got uh, some flowers as well to go in it um, to make it kind of look pretty. So, you know, you'll, you'll see as we're going along. But, um, so that's where we are with that. So I'm going to get on and do that and then um, and go and rinse my hair off in the meantime because if I leave it any longer, it'll probably bloody fall out. So bear with me and I'll be back in a moment. So before we get carry on with, with my arrangement out there, I just wanted to show you, I'm so hot, I've put bikini on there. And the one I've bought is from, from the pound shop. So I'm gonna show you that quickly whilst I'm eating a bowl of jelly deals. Now, if you lot don't like jelly deals, then look away now. But for those of you um, who love jelly deals, or for those of you who don't know what jelly deals are, if you're, um, especially in the States, sometimes they go, jelly deals, what's that? So jelly deals is an eel, obviously, um, and they get boiled um, and then you kind of eat them. It kind of solidifies and makes a jelly the juice. <laughs> so it goes like jelly. And then you chop it all up and make it into pieces, like fish pieces. So let me show you. Uh, I'm going to tip the camera down. I don't know if you can see it because it's going to slip out. Look, can you see the jelly? So you've got all the jelly. Yeah, bring it a bit closer. And then you've got the pieces of fish, right? Now I'll tell you a funny little story. So um, when Sean used to have jelly deals, I've got to have a bit of jelly now. Mm. The jelly's the best bit actually. So when we used to, when Sean used to have jelly deals as well with me, I because he didn't like the jelly, it made him feel like oh, just didn't like it. I used to get the eel, right? So let's say, let me pick out a little bit, right? And I'll show you what I mean. Again, if you don't like this, don't look. Get the eel. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Get the eel. <laughs> get the eel. Put it in my mouth. Suck all the jelly off and then give him the eel to eat. I know you're all probably thinking, oh my God, that's gross. But he liked the eel, but he just didn't like the jelly and that's what I used to do for him. How funny is that? Anyway, before I carry on and eat these eels, I guess the jelly's gonna go watery. I've just got to show you this. Now I'm gonna tip the camera down touch and I'm gonna walk back a little bit. So I've got that sarong on, which I bought from uh, Primark, Primark, for a pound. Now I know it doesn't really, kind of goes with these colors, but you know, any, anyway, and the bikini. Now, you are you ready for this? You want to see my fat belly, my, my white belly, and my fat legs at the top. So, this is the bikini. Um, obviously, the top it fits absolutely perfect. Now, excuse my, my belly if you don't mind looking at me, you know, I don't care. Um, and it fits nice around here. You know, you can pull them up if you want them up a little bit higher. There's the back, you can see I've got a completely flat bum um, and I'm browner on the top than I am from this because when I'm sitting in the garden uh, working, I've got the table and the laptop here and so you only see my top bit. Um, so I need a bit of sun on here, you know, and a bit of sun on here. But that's just to show you the bikini, what it looks like on me. And I'm a size, as I say, maybe a 12 to 14, depending on where I buy the clothes. Sometimes I get away with 10, 8s, 10s, 12s, 14s. You know, but I think realistically, I'm probably like between a 12 and a 14. But I just thought I'd show you that. Model that for you so you can see that. Um, and then the little sarong as well. You know, I mean, obviously you can put it around your waist. Some people tie them as well, I've noticed. Um, kind of tie it around like this. Hang on, I'll get myself all caught up now. And tie it around your neck like that. So you've got it hanging down like that. So that's nice as well. So you've got plenty, plenty of options with sarongs. They're just perfect to chuck on, you know what I mean? Um, I know it over like as if I've got a towel on. So anyway, I'm gonna just quickly eat these eels and then I'm gonna show you the rest of the arrangement now we're getting on with it. So go and get a drink and then we'll crack on. So everybody, I've been out for something to eat now. I'm absolutely stuffed. Um, we we decided to go out for something to eat. Because Sean come home from what I was trying to do me, me a couple of arrangements to show you. Um, and then I just got too hot. So I said, I, I, you know, I'll, I'll do it later on. Um, so the plan was, was to do them this evening. And then Sean came in and said, oh, Nick, let's just go out for something to eat. It's so hot, nice evening. We can set aside a nice little pub, have a drink and have something to eat. Um, so that's what we did. 
So um, chucked on my little dress and up we went. But I'll just show you my little dress. This comes from, uh, I bought this in Spain actually. It was about 10 euros, cheap as chips. So if I come back here, right, you can see how long it is. If I keep going, can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> oh dear. And this is the back. Little crisscross at the back there. Um, covers this bit up, you know, so covers all this going on. And here, a bit of elastic here, so it's nice and baggy there. So like, covers this bit up, that bit, which I love. Um, big knickers on, big Bridget, no, Bridget Jones um, knickers. Um, what are they called? What's the knickers called with the, um, uh, that's where you can't see your panty line. Do you know what I'm trying to say? What, what is it called? VL, no VLP, is that right? No visible panty liner. No, no, no visible panty liner. No, you, you know what I'm trying to say, don't you? No VPL, no visible panty line, not no visible panty liner. <laughs> oh my good God, honestly, I've only had one glass of Prosecco, can you believe it? Anyway, so I just thought, come back before he gets in and um, just show you my little number. Um, and we, we've come in because we're gonna sit outside. He's taking brooms for a walk because it's too hot during the day, can't do it during the day. Um, it, it's just too hot for him, so that's why they've gone now. So we've come out here, and we're gonna sit outside here on the patio um, and we're gonna have a little, a little glass of something to cool off because in there, it's like a bloody sauna. It's far too hot, far too hot. So I'm going to do the um, rest of my arrangements, what I'm going to show you tomorrow, then I'm going to upload it. Now, I was going to do um, my try-ons, wasn't I, on Wednesday, but I've got to change plan. I'm off to Broadstairs. Um, I'm off to Broadstairs for a couple of days, leaving Sean here. Um, so I'm off to, I'm, I'm off to BS um, on, I think I'm going Wednesday night gonna go and stay with my friend down there for a few days. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'll probably be back Saturday. Um, so I won't be uploading anything to do with clothing or anything to do with my floral arrangements because I'll be at Broadstairs. So what I'm gonna do is do a video while I'm down there. So if anyone hasn't been to Broadstairs, it's gonna be nice weather. I, could, I can show you the beach. Um, the little high street, I'll do some vids while we're down there, um, the bungalow where she is, right near the sea, it's beautiful, it's really, really nice. So I'm going to do a video on all that, so if you're happy with that, stay tuned and watch it, if not, that's fine, you ain't got to watch it at all. Um, they've got some nice little boutiques down there, some nice little thrift shops, which I like. So we're going to do that on Wednesday, so stay tuned, but I probably won't be able to upload that till maybe Thursday, something like that, we'll see. I've just got to see how I go along. Um, you know what I'm like by now, you just, I just upload random, you know, when I can. So anyway, you guys, I'm gonna see you tomorrow now and um, have a nice evening. All right, so I'll see you in the morning. Ciao for now. Oh, guys, it's so hot. I shouldn't complain um, because as you know, I'm a sun person and I love this weather, but I've got to say it is a real, sweaty heat it's different when you go away when you go abroad because you've got the sea you've got your pool um, unless you've got a, you know a great big house or a big garden and you're lucky enough to have a pool um, obviously we haven't I couldn't afford one but you know if you're lucky oh brilliant but you know for the rest of us who haven't got that you know that lovely um, what's what I'm looking for that lovely that lovely, <laughs> honestly, I can't think the bloody word. That lovely, luxurious advantage on the rest of us. Anyway, you know what I mean? Let's not carry on with that. Christ sake, shut up. Oh, here comes Bruins. All right, mate. Hot, isn't you? So right, we've got him round here because we had the little soiree the other day. Um, there was too many people. Go lay down. There was too many people around there for him, it was too hot. So I said, look, I'll tell you what, we're taking back to our house. 
you know, we can leave the windows open and that for them. And at the front of the house, it's cooler. It's just at the back where we get the sun in here. So he goes the lays in there. But he was upstairs on the landing because I had the balcony door open. And when you've got all the doors and all the windows open, it blows a nice through breeze. But he's obviously over chatting and come down to see what's going on. Oh, oh it's having a drink. Anyway, so um, I'm just going to show you this quickly before I show you my little uh, floral arrangement. So the, I got this. So under here, boo, I've got the other pound shop pep and co costume which is the two piece bit so it's the bikini bottoms and the tankini top so i'm just going to show you I, i'm still trying desperately hard to get my legs brown but they're just not having it um anyway so the top bottoms the only thing i would say with these and maybe it's because i haven't got a big bum um is even though they're a size 10 they're not a true tin because they're, they're, they're a bit loose. You know, like, um, sorry, I'm not trying to show you my bum. You know, like the the, um, the elastic round here, is, it's very loose and baggy on me. So I would imagine if you get in a swimming pool, you know, sometimes the uh, chloride and that makes your costumes a bit baggy, the elastic. So this might go a, 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 even baggier. But, you know, for indoors and just for sitting about, and it ain't, it ain't too bad, but... Anyway, um, the top's nice, the top fit, fits lovely. You can either obviously have it um, with a string around it or not. Sorry, my glasses literally just keep, I'm so hot, they're just slipping down my nose. And I can't do the video there because I can't hardly see the bloody camera. It's so blurry, so I've got to wear them. So just ignore me. Um, yeah, so anyway, so the top fits really nice, as you can see. And all I've done is thrown, I bought this in TK Maxx. I'll come back here so you can see it. Can you see it or am I too far away? Um, you know, it's like a batman -y type, sleeves, or wing sleeves, whatever you want to call it, tassels on the bottom, tie-dye, um, really nice. Now, I'm actually not going to wear this as a, um, to go over the, over the top of a costume, I'm going to wear it as like a cardigan type, jacket type thing of an evening. I think it's really nice. And this was £15 out of um, TK Maxx, and it's by the name Steve Madden. Now, it's an American name because I know he's a designer in America because I've, I've bought some shoes um, from his shop in New York oh, years and years and years ago. But it's really nice. It's got a lovely pattern on it. Um, but I've got to take it off because I'm too hot. And I'm not going to stand here in my bikini bottoms. So I'm just going to put some shorts on quickly. Um, over the top. And um, we'll crack on and I'll show you where I am. Oh, God help us. Oh, now that ain't going to work, is it? For goodness sake, woman. All right, just, just, all right, just go with it. Go with it. Right. I know they look stupid, but they'll just do the job for a minute. Woo! Hot and wet. That's out of a film, isn't it? Hot. Who says that? My shawl says that sometimes. He walks around going, hot and wet, hot and wet. <laughs> Silly bugger. Oh. I'm just having some soda water and crushed raspberries in it. And a bit of ice, really fruit refreshing, bit, uh, and a bit of lime juice. Lime juice? Lime juice. <laughs> and no, it ain't got any bloody alcohol in it. It's a mocktail. Just before you put a little comment, oh, Nick, is there any rum in it? No, there's not. But who's to say I won't put some in it? Anyway, I'm going to show you where I'm up to. So, the one I was originally doing um, was this one. Do you know what? I don't even know whether I started showing you bloody this one. I did, didn't I? I have to rewind this and watch it. Anyway, so if I did, then I changed my mind on it. I've got far as I've got as far as this. Oh God, hold on a minute. Got as far as this. Made the box, sprayed it, put a base on it. I've put a mirror in the bottom as well. That's where I am with that. And I'm looking at it, thinking I had an idea what I was going to do. And then the more I looked at it, I thought. The, for what I originally wanted to do for, for a lady, I don't think it's going to work. It's too big. It would look nice as a lantern, if you know what I mean. 
because it's that nice, perfect square shape. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I've got these little lampshades from, I can't remember, I think either a thrift shop or, or the boot sale, I can't remember. Anyway, I've got two for a quid and they were black. And actually, I think they come from next because there was, there was a label on them. So um, they were brand new. Uh, the lady just bought them and didn't use them. So they were brand new. Um, and I obviously bought them and sprayed them in gold. So the idea is, what I decided to do with this is kind of make it into a lantern. And I might actually keep it for Christmas and, and, and do a Christmas arrangement with it because I think that will be really nice. So tips the shade upside down. I'm going to stick it to the bottom. All right, put that there. Candles, just at the pound shop. In the middle there. Sorry, I've got bloody raspberry bits. And you know when the pips go in between your teeth and you're going, so if one comes spits out of my mouth or sits on my cheek somewhere, I know you can't say to me, Nick, you've got pips on. <laughs> so just, you know, if you see it on there, just take the nose. Anyway, so, it will kind of look something like that, right? Originally, I was going to put some flowers and yeah, I can feel through it. Hang on. No, no, it's a bit of glue gun string. <laughs> so that's where we are with that. Now, I've literally just done this for another lady. I haven't finished it, but I'm halfway through it. Well, in fact, I'm nearly done. But I just thought I'd show you. Now, I know it's this type of floral arrangement. I've done this before with using these flowers. I know that. But this is what people request. So I do what people request me to do at the end of the day. So this actually is a fruit bowl. It's one of those um, fruit bowls where obviously it's the rack bit on the bottom and then the little bowl bit on the top. And then obviously this is to hold it. Now, I bought this brand new. Um, in fact, I think I bought this one in TK Maxx, probably for about 4 99 something like that, and it was black and I've spray painted it silver. So on the back, I've just put a bit of bling wrap, right? Then I've put foam on the bottom here, but if so you can see the foam on the bottom, and I've literally pushed the flowers through it and glued them into place. The same with the top, but on the bottom of the, this one, on the top here, I've just put some little of those, the eucalyptus, you know, the ones out the range which I always use. So I've literally, I don't know if you can see, I balance it, I don't know you see here, just to cover the bottom up and just put some foliage, not too much, just a little tiny bit, just to break up the colour, you know. Um, then some bling wrap round here and I'm going to edge this bit as well. Um, and then, um, yeah, I mean, you could if you wanted to, you know, these bits here, you could bling wrap them as well, but I think it'd be too much personally. So I'm literally just gonna do the edging round here and then um, that will be kind of done. The only thing I might change is, you know this bit here? Well, this is the bit what you're looking at. So obviously when you turn it around on the inside, this is the inside bit and it don't look as nice as the outside. So I'm maybe gonna just take this off, double side it and then put it back again. Just so, because when you're looking at it like this, you can see it. Um, so yeah, so that's coming out quite pretty, quite nice. So it's a good idea. So that's that one. I'm just going to put that over there. Now the next quick one is, God, it's absolutely dripping. So the next one is, now do you remember when I bought this at TK Maxx and I kept thinking, mm, what am I going to do with it? It was in a sale um, and I kept thinking, what am I going to do with it? So what I've done, you know, one of the other candle holders I've got, I've glued them together like this. So what I'm going to do is, I've already put the foam in there. I'm going to use it as the funnel on the top here to cascade the wisteria coming down. Put some wisteria around in this bit as well and put um, some more flowers drapes in out. So I thought we'll do that and I can show you and we can have a chat as we go along. All right, does that sound all right? Right, that's better. So, where was we? Now, okay, yeah, so we're, we're on this one, right? So that's the idea. Let's kind of crack on. Um, and 
I'll show you. Now, do you know what I discovered? Not I discovered, um, bloody, <laughs> honestly, I forget all the time what things are called. That is so bad. Barbecue sticks, the skewers, right? So these are so handy. I'll show you a couple of things in a minute, which you probably know anyway, but I've just discovered it. So I'm gonna use this to friddle, right? The wisteria around. And then I need another bit. Hold on. I'm only here. Right, so I wanted to, what I wanted to go and get was floral tape, which I did have next to me. So cocktail sticks, floral tape, wrap it around the floral tape, the wrap the floral tape around the cocktail stick, and you've got an instant stem. So when you get little roses, like if you buy those little roses off Amazon, um, uh, some of them come with um, stems and some of them don't. I mean, all you do, there you go. You've got a little stem. Um, so anyway, so the idea, what I'm going to try and do, I've got my glue gun here. This is the crappiest glue gun in the world, I'm telling you. It's really winding me up. No bloody glue comes out of it, ever. Well, it does a bit, but not a lot. Um, anyway. Okay, so, the idea is, is to try and start putting some more flowers in there but what I actually need to do is get the ones get them in there so why did I not think of that because I'm bloody stupid that's why so what I'm gonna have to do is unstick it all right and I'm gonna have to turn it as I go along so oh my good god Right, okay, so we're gonna turn it. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like where it's where it's going. Mm, no, I don't, I don't. This is not a good idea. So, back to this. I had to stop videoing earlier. Um, it, it was so hot and, and I've got no, shelter out here whatsoever only an umbrella so I, I just thought I've got to go and have a shower and um and cool off a bit so anyway um it's like early evening now so hopefully I'll get to see this in another hour or so and then I'm going to upload it but just quickly I'm just going to show you where we are I ended up spray painting this because I I was doing it putting the foam in here and, and it was just getting an absolute mess and I just did not like it one bit so what I've done is I've spray painted, I'm just gonna shift the camera a little tiny bit. I've spray painted it in the rust -Oleum gold, white gold, what I like. Actually, that's a lie. It's actually not the rust -Oleum. It's Wilkinson's. Um, it's Wilkinson's only make. Uh, metallic spray paint. And it said metallic champagne gold. There you go. It's this type, and I think I think it was six seventy five. It's not a lot of difference because sometimes I've paid about seven pound for that rust oleum gold, uh, the white gold, and sometimes I've paid nine quid. So it's a couple of quid cheaper, you know. But it's more or less the same colour, and it's actually quite nice. So what I've done, and I've actually it, it actually looks better off camera. Cameras don't do it justice, but as you can see, I've put some hydrangea in here with some foliage around it. I've got some nice little foliage hanging bits coming down the side, and I've got the cascading of the wisteria down. Now, what I did was, first of all, it was just all hanging loose at the side. I don't know if you can see, if I hold it up like that. First of all, it was just all like hanging loose, but it looked odd. It didn't, I don't know what the word is. It just didn't look right anyway. So what I did was, I've got a couple of little petals and I just literally glued into the base there. And I think it looks much better. If I put it down, move this glue gun out of the way a minute. Move the camera slightly, and you can see. I'll turn it around to the side. Come around this side. Around the back. I mean, I'm gonna have it, um, I'm, I'm probably gonna keep this myself, actually. I keep saying that. You know what it is? Oh! I nearly dropped it on the floor, then smashed the bloody thing. 
I'm so clumsy. Um, I make these things and then I and then I like them myself. But um, anyway, we'll see. I don't know. I'm going to put it on my page anyway and see what happens. But you can see it. It looks quite pretty. I would have it. So that's the back. But I would have it facing obviously this way because you've got your hydrangea bit there. So yeah, quite nice. I'm quite pleased with that. Anyway, guys, I'm off to Broadstairs. So watch out. Watch out, Broadstairs, if anyone's watching. I'm on my way. I'll see you later. All right? Bye!